The animal kingdom's a funny place. Many animals use a mixture of bright colours to help them stand out, while others manage to do the exact same thing, but through the complete lack of colour. In today's episode of Unusual as Usual, we're learning about Migaloo, the albino whale. Migaloo is a humpback whale that was first spotted in 1991 off Byron Bay, Queensland, by a group of volunteers conducting a whale count. He was born with albinism, the absence of any pigmentation or coloration. His white exterior shows signs of sun damage, a common problem with albino animals, as they are susceptible to sunburns. Researchers estimated based on his size in 1991 that he was born around 1986, making him five years old. In 1993, Pacific Whale Foundation researchers spotted him swimming, this time in Harvey Bay, Queensland. It was decided that naming him should be done by the elders of the local Aboriginal collective in Harvey Bay, and they settled on the name Migaloo, which means white fella. The elders explain their connection to all albino animals and that they believe they appear on earth to be respected and revered. That their unique colour demonstrates the need to respect all forms of life, even if they appear different than what is classed as normal. In 1998, once again, the Pacific Whale Foundation researchers spotted him. This time, they managed to record him singing a trait distinctive to male humpback whales. It's thought that humpback whales may sing to help map out the seas surrounding them. There are a number of ways in which scientists identify Migaloo. Obviously, he's easy to pick out of a lineup because he's the only all-white whale. But there are other physical traits used to identify him too. His dorsal fin is slightly hooked and his tail flukes have a distinctive shape with spiked edges along the lower trailing side. Migaloo is part of a population of humpback whales that feed in the Antarctica from November to May. These whales then migrate along the east coast of Australia to breed in the warmer tropical waters near the Great Barrier Reef during June to October. With vast amounts of misinformation readily available on the internet, it's easy to assume that Migaloo could have been the inspiration for Herman Melville's book, Moby Dick. However, it was written 136 years before Migaloo was born, which makes it impossible. Moby Dick is actually based on an entirely fictional whale. In 2003, Migaloo was struck by a boat full of people eager to get close for photographs, an encounter that left him with scars across his back. All humpback whales are protected under Australian law, but since this incident, there has been additional laws passed, so Migaloo and other humpback whales that are more than 90% white are classed as special management marine mammals and have an additional exclusion zone around them. Boats and vessels cannot approach within 500 meters and aircrafts cannot approach within 610 meters. Migaloo is the only known occurrence of an all-white humpback whale in the 20th century. This is based on records kept by whalers of the tens of thousands of humpback whales killed during the first half of the 20th century, and by observations by whale researchers during the second half of the century. Because Migaloo is so visible and easily identified, Pacific Whale Foundation researchers have been able to gather a lot of data about him without the use of radio tags. This helped researchers better understand the migratory pathways of humpback whales in the South Pacific. A 2007 to 2008 Antarctic campaign called Operation Migaloo borrowed his name for the first season of Animal Planet's reality TV show, Whale Wars which followed Paul Watson, founder of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, as he and the crew attempted to stop the killing of whales by Japanese whaling vessels off the coast of Antarctica. Whale hunting was banned in 1986 to allow for their dwindling numbers to recover. However, in 2019, Japan announced that they were to resume commercial whale hunting and issued a permit to five ships 
allowing them to catch 227 whales in Japanese waters. Now, at around 34 years old, Migaloo is semi-regularly spotted in New Zealand waters, but he primarily spends his time off East Australia, migrating as far north as Cooktown and south past Sydney. More recently, in 2011, a nearly all-white humpback whale calf was spotted in the Whitsunday Islands. The whale became known as Migaloo Jr. However, it's not known for sure if he's actually the offspring of Migaloo. They may not be related, only genetic tests can confirm it. Migaloo Jr. does have one small black dot on the dorsal surface of his left fluke, meaning this whale likely has a condition called leucism rather than albinism. Leucism refers to a partial loss of pigmentation. Although their colour may seem really cool, it actually makes it harder for them to blend into their environment, making them more visible to predators. You can actually symbolically adopt Migaloo from the Pacific Whale Foundation website. Money raised goes towards supporting the ongoing research to better understand humpback whales' behaviours, migratory patterns and lifespans. I'll pop the link in the description. And there we have it. Migaloo, the albino whale, the only true albino humpback whale in the world. Hopefully, his fame will continue to help promote awareness of his species. But how about you? Do you think that after a 30-year hiatus, Japan was right to bring back commercial whaling? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more abnormal animals, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.